Hi, I'm Linda Bardier and welcome to Hope News on the Hope News Network. The San Bernardino City Unified School District continues to form strong partnerships with people and organizations that share our motto, Making Hope Happen. Last month, the helpful Honda folks came out to Hunt Elementary School to make hope happen for our students with their Random Acts of Helpfulness initiative. Here's a representative from the SoCal Honda Guys in Blue. We are doing Random Acts of Helpfulness today, so we're happy to be here at Hunt Elementary providing books for over 700 students today. So Helpful Honda is here spreading awareness on the importance of reading and hopefully making these kids happy today. Hi, my name is Mrs. Coley. I'm the principal at Hunt Elementary School. We are so excited today because Helpful Honda has come to our school and they are giving a book to every single one of our students. We've watched the Helpful Honda commercials and my awesome clerk here, Nicole, was on Facebook and requested for them to come and then some of us also responded and we were chosen out of many applicants. Many of our students do not have the resources to have books at their homes. So it's very exciting that we can get them started on the path to make um, home libraries for their families. Thank you, Hannes, for giving us books. In other news, the fifth annual Latino History Bee was held on October 10th as part of Hispanic Heritage Month. This year's winner was Alicia Rios from Cajon High School. Hope News Network special correspondent Cameron Gilbreth caught up with Alicia to talk about her amazing victory. Thanks, Linda. We're here today with the Latino History Bee winner, Alicia. Now, what made you compete in Latino History Bee? Well, last year during the Latino History Bee, I didn't hear much about it, but I knew one of my close friends was involved in it. And so I decided to go watch the team compete when they went to the bee. And uh, as I was watching it, I saw it as something that I could do, that I could be a part of. And I, I felt it would help me uh, connect to my Latino background. Very cool. Now, throughout this great event and that you, of course, won, what was the most memorable moment from it? There was a lot of memorable moments throughout the whole B, but I have to say that the one that stuck in my head was the, at the end, after they had prized everyone and handed out all the awards, I was up on stage and uh, my team from Cajon was in the crowd and all of a sudden they started chanting my name. It was funny. It was that's Awesome. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Back to you, Linda. Thank you, Cameron. Alicia wasn't the only winner, however. Cynthia Ramirez earned second place and Alonso Sanchez placed third for the high school competition. Both Cynthia and Alonso attend San Bernardino High. And the first place winner in the middle school division was Cereal Castillo, with Sarah Castillo and Kimberly Morales taking second and third. All three of the middle school division winners attend Arrowview Middle School and are part of the Dual Immersion Magnet Program. Many of the Latino B participants have also been a part of the Dual Immersion Magnet Program that helps English speakers become fluent in Spanish while also helping Spanish speakers become fluent in English. Here's Leonard Buckner to share a bit more about the magnet programs offered in the district and some important deadlines that are coming up soon. So my name is Leonard Buckner and I am the Assistant Director of Enrollment and Placement Services. So the magnet programs are opportunities for students to participate in fine arts, creative arts, dual language immersion, environmental education, STEM uh, activities that would not normally be found in regular school setting. And so we open that up to students across the district. Parents, you'll be receiving an options brochure and in the options brochure, it explains to you about the magnet programs, which schools have the magnet programs. And there's also a phone number on there that you can contact if you want further information. Your application is also in the options brochure. Uh, the registration process window will open up on December 3rd, 2018. That application must be submitted to my office, the Enrollment and Placement Center, by January 18th, 2019, by 4 p.m. Additional information is available at the website on your screen. Finally, special correspondent Junalyn Parafina from San Bernardino High School had a chance to interview State Senator Connie Leva. Here they are with an important reminder about the importance of being civically involved. So I have a question for you. Okay. Why do you think the students at San Bernardino High School and the San Bernardino community should be civically engaged? 
That is such a good question. Sometimes students feel like because they can't vote that there's no role for them, but it is critically important that our students go to city council meetings, that they go to school board meetings, because your voice is part of the community. So knowing who's running for office is important. Doing your research on knowing who's running for office is important. And it's even great to go and work on a campaign. If you uh, like a candidate in particularly, you should go to them and ask if you can walk precincts for them. And you can knock on doors and talk to people and find out what's important to them in their community. But you also, as a student, have a voice and you know what's important. Thanks, Juna Lynn, and thanks to all of you for watching Hope News. I'm Linda Bardeer.